going down, y'all? Your boy is back, and oh yeah, your boy got a fro. <laughs> I know you guys never see me with my hat off or even see me with hair. Usually I'm bald, but uh, I don't know, man. I've just been lazy. I usually just cut my own hair, and lately I've just been lazy, don't want to cut it, and I just figure out I'll just grow it out and just see where it goes. And so there'll be a point where someday I'll just get tired of it, and I'll probably just shave it all off. But anyways, this is the same person. I just got a wig right now. But uh, this video is actually in regards to the caddy still um there's one small project that i've been wanting to tackle and it's in regards to the console area so i've been wanting to add like some type of uh extra storage or some type of pocket kind of holder in there and um this particular caddy came with a cd changer and it has like a little uh uh deal where it goes through like all the whole diagnostics of the car like fuel and tire pressure and all that that you can kind of scroll through so it has like another uh little deal there on the console and all that but uh the cd changer doesn't even work i mean i it doesn't even eject anything i can't even hear it power on or anything and and you know for the most part who uses cds anymore anyway because it's, it's all ran through apps now and all that so i've been wanting to try to replace it but there's no um there's no companies that actually make like pocket holders or I guess there are some, but none for uh, for this particular car that I've seen and all the research that I've done and, and um, threads that I've read and things like that. I haven't seen any. So I decided like maybe I can kind of tackle my own. And I found one person who actually did this before and um, he actually made his own. And so I'm going to show you guys what... Uh, what he did and what I'm going to attack on this one right here. Here we so, go. So this is actually the CD changer right here. And it's like a six disc changer. Just kind of like old school, you know, back in the days when people were still using CDs. And, you know, it doesn't even light up anymore. I think it's just disconnected from, from the whole stereo system. Uh, somebody put in an aftermarket deck and the, and the deck's no good. And, you know, it plays um, through the radio, but it just doesn't play CDs or anything. Somebody had an amp in there too. And the amp is... Uh, the amp is no longer in there however it still has the wires to, to run an amp so i'm just going to use those if i put an amp in it but this is actually really easy to take out it actually has these tracks right here these brackets and it has this little snap little deal so when it's inside all you got to do is pull down on these on these uh little snaps and you ba it basically unlatches on both sides and you just pull it out so you have to pull another part of the console out too and i'll, I'll show you that as well uh but what what the other guy did that I seen is he actually, this actually took off, off this case and basically just took out the internals of the CD changer and kept the frame in the case and just filled it with uh, like foam, uh, just really thin foam padding and like a felt lining over the top of it and then installed it and put it back in and it looked factory. And this is actually where that CD changer went in here. So it just slid right in and then uh, it just slides right out. So um, you actually just gotta pop this part off here and it actually just pops off fairly easily. It just comes off like that and then there you go. So um, if you can see this track right here, that's what the, uh, the little arms on the uh, CD changer just go in and it just snaps right in and then um, it just sets in there good so anyways so what I'm trying to do is is actually be able to use this area without the changer in there so let me put this back snap this back on and what's kind of cool about these newer cars uh, versus like you know old school old school style cars is a lot of these little frame pieces just snap in and out versus like old school cars uh, some of them kind of snapped in most of the time they screwed in and you know you have to take off some one thing to get to another and and unscrew that unscrew that and most of the time you end up breaking them and whatever just because they're so old um, similar with these as well if you're not careful you can still break some of those snaps uh, but it's kind of nice just to be able to kind of pull them off you just got to figure out which way they pull off whatnot but anyways I'm trying to be able to use this area just to access just for storage and it's kind of just like taking up you know it's kind of just wasting the space by just keeping that changer in there especially if it doesn't work so uh and i don't have a lot of storage right here like on my little deal hold on let me grab it on my uh center part of the console right here it has a uh, cup holders and then it has an ashtray uh, and i could store stuff there but i have my my little phone uh charger slash 
phone holder or whatever that I put right here and that arm kind of sits right over the uh, ashtray so I'm able to store stuff in the ashtray still but you know not anything big if I want to put something in there so um or is is not anything big as if I wanted or needed to put anything in here is which I want is which is what I would like to do so that's kind of my task in regards to this so um that's pretty much it y'all i just kind of just wanted to show you uh give you more of a visual what i was trying to do so what i'm going to do now is take that cd changer apart and then uh try to come up with some material maybe order it off amazon or go to some fabric store or walmart or something like that pick some stuff up and then uh install it put it in and then put it in its final resting place here and hopefully it looks pretty good so All right, so that was pretty straightforward, y'all. Uh, it was just basically undoing two little bolts here that basically kept the front end installed and then uh, our screws, excuse me, and a couple little screws back here. And then uh, these little hooks or little snap ends, basically I had to kind of like pry open uh, and bent it a little bit, but I'll just bend that back. So this is actually the well, technically, I guess this is the top piece. Yeah, top piece. So I don't just sit up here like this. And so you guys can kind of see more of my thought process in regards to it now uh, is to basically put this back on and then make this accessible for uh, a uh, storage. So that's my thought process on it and i'll probably just uh either cut these little tabs off or flatten them off or something and uh, but i'm gonna put some like foam padding in here too or or i don't know maybe i'll put like some cardboard or something in there to kind of like keep it flat or something i'll probably put foam padding just like really thin foam padding in there and and then just kind of just All go right, from there. on to the next phase of uh making my own little pocket in dash holder so this is where we're at now so i was just this is the next day i was just waiting for this is i got this through amazon so i'll touch on this in a second but what i did is instead of buying some foam padding uh i thought about this here so this is the, actually the insulation that i've used in my uh what am i saying my chevelle so this is kind of like a knockoff dynamat materials actually for uh ducting like heat uh, hvac ducting so i got it from lowe's uh however it's a cheap solution if you want to like use it in your car or anything it has a foam sticky backing with a <clears throat> with a foil type material to kind of keep heat uh out or in keep your car insulated um not so much as far as sound deadening but it does help a little bit uh but i thought that this would be actually really good to use for the inside of here and so i'm not worried about these wrinkles here because of this material that i have here uh but i put this all in there and it's actually the 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 right amount of thickness and so i'm i'm happy about that and i put it this is actually the top so i didn't fill this in because this was kind of like a ridge there so um but this is the top so you won't be able to see that anyway but this is ba basically what you'd be able to kind of see from uh you know sitting inside of the car at least uh and what this is here so this is actually a sticky back kind of felt like material so if you think about uh, like a jewelry box you know how the jewelry box has uh that felt kind of lining in there this is similar to that but it has a sticky back on it so that that way it'll stick just to this and it's fairly thick as well so it shouldn't really show a whole lot of these wrinkles and imperfections um once it's actually installed but I think it, it should, um, if it does, then oh well, you know, regardless. Again, I'm just kind of just making this from scratch. Bought this from Amazon. It was like six bucks or something like that for like 10 sheets. But that's what I have decided to go with. So I'm going to put that on here. And then once I put that on there, 
it should be ready to go back in, in the car. So let me get to that and I'll kick you back on here. I got here. it all lined up and actually it turned out really good. So as you can see, as what I was talking about was you're not gonna really be able to see any of those wrinkles or imperfections from underneath. Uh, there's a few little little ones that you can see. These humps here, there, there were some tabs here that I had to bend over. Uh, so that's why you see these little humps there. But I mean, all in all, man, I mean, for it being a self-made kind of pocket dash storage, uh, it's actually pretty good and it's soft. So anything that I need to put in there, you know, won't be like rattling around like on bare metal. So that's good. And then this is the top piece. So this will just sit right on top like this after I snap it in. And uh, then we should be good to go. So you can kind of get the, the visual. Let's see if I can kind of lift it up a little bit of kind of what it will look like and yeah so all the access the excess here that's around here i'm just leaving it there for now so when i put it in i'll kind of know what i need to trim off because uh, i'm not sure how much the trim will cover so uh it should only be a little bit so i probably actually will be able to cut most of it off but uh but yeah, y'all, I think it looks pretty dang slick and I'm happy with that. So uh, again, that changer was just kind of just taking up some space and I needed some space to uh, get myself some storage. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it in the truck and see what it looks oh, yeah. like. So I'm there it to... is installed. Uh, yeah, before it was just a CD in dash changer. Looks something similar to this, but just kind of just a little bit more thinned out. And uh, now it's actually a fully functional cell phone holder slash whatever you want to put in there and uh shoot man i'm proud of that y'all i'm proud of that uh but yeah you see it's uh pretty deep in there i don't know if i have a light let me see if i have a light here real quick uh i probably could use my cell phone but yeah it goes down deep in there y'all so i'm proud of that it looks pretty good it looks factory and that's what i like so this actually just pops off here let me do this with one hand without breaking it so this just pops off like that and then this actually just snaps in uh, i've already snapped it in it's kind of a not a pain, but it's a little bit to get out and I would need two hands to do it. But as you can see, it just slides in and out and then it pops in and snaps in. So I've already got it snapped in there. And uh, this is just the excess here. So that way when the trim is on, you can't see uh, any little imperfections or any metal pieces or anything like that. And then uh, this just snaps on there, back on there again, like so. And it sits pretty much like that. And there you go. So. I'm proud of that, y'all, and uh, and hopefully you guys um, maybe learn something today in my research. Like I said, I found one person that did uh, this exact same thing, and um, and he did it a little bit different than I did, uh, but all in all, it's pretty much the same concept. But uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty dang good, and um, I am proud of that. So that concludes this video, y'all. So pretty much fully functional in dash pocket dash storage unit and i'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean this all up and put it back together and uh we'll call it a day all right so man man join the movement y'all i'm telling you join the movement 2020 is gonna be lit it's gonna be insane y'all i'm coming with all kinds of content y'all and just you know i'm trying to do things that are, are practical uh and things that you know most people would not think of and you know I tried to find something, you know, that I could buy. There was nothing to be out there to be bought for something like this, especially for this year. So I was like, screw it. I'm just going to make my own. And what do you know? With just with a little bit of time, ingenuity, you can uh, you can make stuff happen. So, man, join the movement, y'all. Share, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff, y'all. 2020 is about to be insane. All right? Peace.